Denzel was a search dog before, so he kind of knows the game. So Denzel, he's, uh, <laughs> he's three years old. Um, I've had him since a puppy. Um, before this, he was a bedbug dog, and I used to search hotels for bedbugs and universities and social housing. We're looking to use them to uh, pinpoint leaks in the kind of rural areas of our network. And they've been trained by our ex-military, so looking to deploy them on our network to do a survey of the mains to see if we've got any water rising and they'll be able to detect the smell. We'll be accompanying them, we've got drones etc, but the local guys will know the lines of the mains. The scent that they're looking for is chlorine. Is the chlorine will rise and then the dog will scent the chlorine from underneath the ground and especially in the winter when it's going to be wet. So the dogs can basically identify that quite quickly. Once I know he's on something, you just see a change of behaviour, he just gets a little bit more intense, he gets lower to the ground, his tail starts to crawl a little bit more, and then what I'll be looking for then is a passive indication, which is just a freeze, so a stand and stay or a down and stay, as long as I can see it clearly and where it is. So we use modern technology like noise loggers, uh, correlators, hydrophones, but we're looking for any new innovative ways um, to do the job more effectively. We take our responsibility to manage our water very seriously and since 2006 we've actually reduced leakage by 50% and we also ask our customers to use water wisely so in turn we must do the same. We're hoping it proves successful and uh, if it does the sniffer dogs could become a great asset to Scottish water.